Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to save your game to Roblox. Let's get started. So for this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save through Roblox Studio. So you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open and you're going to, want to have a game that you're creating. So for now, I'm going to click on the new games and let's start with the flat terrain. So the game is open and I'm going to quickly add a tree from the toolbox just so you can see the save correctly onto Roblox. So you have your game that you have created and you want to be able to save it to Roblox. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and publish it to Roblox. And this will make it live on Roblox, but you can set it to private so that um, others uh, can't play it unless you give them the link. So you're going to want to go over to File, and you'll see there are several options here, Save to File, Save to Roblox, or Publish to Roblox. First thing, let's go ahead and Publish to Roblox. And you're going to click on Publish to Roblox As. And then once you click that, it's going to ask you for information. So it's saying, would you like to choose an existing game to add to this place? Um, or you, so if you're overwriting a file, you would click one of these and then click on uh, create and then it would uh, overwrite the file that you added there. But for this one, I want to create a new game. So on the bottom left, it says create new game. So I'm going to click create new game. And then it's going to ask you for basic information like the name of your game, the description, the creator, the genre, and so forth. So I'm going to fill that out real quick. So once everything is correct, you can click on create. So one thing to keep in mind is there's currently no way to delete a game from Roblox. So you want to keep that in mind with the amount of games that you create. So the best thing to do is to create versions of the game on your computer and then publish them to Roblox. But let's go ahead and create this here. So I went ahead and published that to Roblox and you can see it's got my test save game. And then if I go to roblox.com and then I sign into my account and then I click on create on the bottom or on the top left, you're going to see that that test save game is there already. And you can see there's that tree. So you click on my creations and experiences will get you to this place. And then you can go ahead and click on that and you can change the settings right here as well. Um, if I go ahead and press back for a second, you can also click on the second one, start place test save game. And then this will bring you to the play screen. So you can go ahead and play the game, make sure it uh, published correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the play button. Okay, so you can see that I was able to load my game within Roblox, and now this is the game that is now published to Roblox. So I'm gonna go ahead and click out of this. Okay, so that is the first way to save your game to Roblox, and that is by publishing the game so that it's available to be played. Now again, if you wanna change the settings so that it's a private game and not a public game, you just go up to the game settings in uh, Roblox Studio, and then you will just go to the permissions, and then right now you can see it's set to private. So basically I'm the only one that can play the game or if you have another person that you're working with or other people that you're working with that are also working on the game, they can play it too if they have the link. Now, what I wanted to walk through real quickly is the save to file. So the best way I have found to save Roblox games is to go ahead and save to file as, and then this will take you to your computer. So you're basically saving the, the Roblox Studio file to your computer. And you can see how I do this. I, I save versions of the game. So this is called test save game. And I would call this version one, V1. And then I would save this. Then I would continue to work on the game. So let's say I continue to add another tree. So let's try this pink tree here. So I add that pink tree. And then it continues to get better. The game gets better. And now I want to save the file again. So what I would do is I would go up to file and then save to file as because I want to change the name to version two. So now I've got test save game version two. And then this way, whenever you go to file and then publish to Roblox, if for any reason when you publish it to Roblox, it does not act the way that you want it to act or it's not working correctly, you can go back to the file on your computer, go back to a previous previous version and then make changes to it so that the uh, Roblox file works the way you want it to work. So again, to reiterate is the best way I've found to do this is to save to file Keep changing the name to a different version on your computer. When you feel good about the game, you just press publish to Roblox. So when I press publish to Roblox, now it took the game and it published this newer version to Roblox and it's the same title. Now let's say you actually wanna create a different game from the same file. You just file publish to Roblox as, and then you would create a new game and then you go, go through the same process. But again, keep in mind that each game that you create on Roblox will be there. The only thing you can do is archive it, um, but that's still gonna make it kind of hard to sort through your games. So again, just keep this in mind as you're creating your games so that you overwrite the existing game. So let's say I was gonna do this, I'd just click on here, click on the game and then overwrite so that that way uh, I work on the same file.
So hopefully this helped you understand the different ways that you can save your Roblox files uh, to Roblox and to your computer. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available, but links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.